No, you've got a plan. I'm gonna marry Jack first, and then four years time when we're raising our first child, then I'll write the book. Life just doesn't go that perfectly to plan. Go somewhere warm, take two months and write. I'm going to Australia. Australia? I got a text from my brother. He's got a mate who used to work in the mines who knows a bloke who has a cousin who's coming to London for work. He lives by the beach. Oh! He's lumped me with his beach dog. It's a house swap. He goes to the house. Is he hot? Is he single? I'm Stella. This is Lexi. We live two doors down from Matt. Yeah, I'm just a uh, couple doors down. Maybe we could go out sometime. Um, well, I'm, I'm here to write a book. It's kind of you to ask, though. Have you checked my flat yet? Yeah, it's on my list. Speaking of that, what did you think of Matt? <laughs> He's okay, if, if you're into that. Lots of mama beach type of look. What's Emily like? Single. Are you interested? I'm not a type. You're casual about life, aren't you? I mean, you can plan a life. It does what it wants anyway. So what does true love mean to you? Soulmates. That one person on this planet you're meant to be with. Life will put you together. And you can just feel it when it happens. Why don't you move to Dubai with me? Grab life while you can. <laughs> I'm all for grabbing life, but uh, I'm not too sure about the rest. I'm selling back home. I'm missing your birthday in a few days. Matt, I missed you! I don't want to feel this way about him. He's so lovely and, oh God, not, none of this was planned. And God, it's, it's a mess. Maybe it's time. This is too important, Matt. How did you know? I just did. I felt it. And it can be messy and complicated and hard. But I can feel it.